Happy Apple Day Part 2. This is Jacob from Adium Tech. Today, I will be unboxing the Apple Watch Series 5 Titanium. Let's get things started with a look at the packaging. So first things first, let's take a look at this box. So it's a fairly robust box, I would say. Uh, it's got quite a few cool little stickers on it, you know, like batteries gonna blow up kind of sticker, all that good stuff. Um, it's definitely quite weighty compared to the iPhone boxes. The seems to be in fairly good condition. I mean, it came all the way from China, so I was, it always uh, surprises me how well they're able to keep black packages that come from that far away and make them still come in this kind of shape. So let's take a look on the inside because the outside is just boring. Mine comes with a nice little pull tab, so we're just going to take that and pull it on across. And then we're going to open up the box. Wow, shiny. Doesn't that look kind of cool? I think that looks pretty awesome. I'm stoked. So what we've got here is a Apple Watch Series 5 in red. You know, the only thing red on the box. Uh, it's a space black titanium case. So I am replacing my Apple Watch Series 3 aluminum uh, 44 millimeter with this one right here. The reason that I decided to upgrade is because this one is two generations old now and it's quite scratched and it still works properly, but it's just, I, I felt like it was time to upgrade. So I got the titanium with the hopes that uh, when I'm doing my work that it holds up better and it uh, lasts longer, it doesn't scratch, you know, etc. So taking a look at the box, it looks very similar to uh, other Apple boxes, for watches at least. Uh, I think the packaging is almost identical. We're going to take our nice little pull tab and pull it back. That's like a really nice peel. Like, that's very satisfying. Good job, Apple. Well, it goes all the way around. Oh, it only goes halfway around. All right. I was getting excited there for a moment. Let's pull off the, the plastic. We can take our little slips. Whoever designs these boxes needs a pay raise because it's pretty cool. I mean, look at that. That, that is awesome. It's a box inside of a box. I'm going to go ahead and take this out. So we've got our band. Let's see what band did we get. We got the sports loop band and anchor gray. So, but of course, we got to look at the cool thing first. Does this have a pull tab? It does have a pull tab. Wow. I bet this is so they can open them easily at the Apple Store. There we go. Wow, it comes inside of a cloth case. That's pretty cool. So let's slide this puppy out. So the first thing that I noticed when I saw this is the, the titanium finish. It's like a nice brushed uh, titanium and it looks really awesome in person. By the way, take a look at my thumb, it's pretty nice. Got a, the same uh, glass back. It says Apple Watch Series 5, 44 millimeters titanium. It's got a speaker. This is an LTE model. Uh, all the higher end models of the Apple Watches are LTE now. So we got the nice little watch there. We got a cool little case. Now let's take a look and see what else comes in here. It says watch edition. Papers that nobody's ever gonna read. We got our watch bands. Oh, that's awesome. It comes with a sports loop band and it comes with the, uh, wait, this is the sports band. What's this one? I think it's a sports band. What's this one? That's the, the it says sports band on it. It's a millisecond. Anchor gray sport, sport loop. It's a sport band and a sport loop. Awesome. Well, that just made my day like 10 times better. So the, this Apple watch comes with a sports loop, which is actually what I prefer. You can see it's on my other Apple watch right here. And it also comes with the sports loop band. Uh, so for those of you who are wondering, yes, it does come with two watch bands. We also get our new charger. Now this charging cable uh, is the upgraded fancier one, meaning that it has a stainless steel case to it. Let's see if we can get it out of there. There we go. So, wow, even the stainless steel has a little cover on it. It's all nice and shiny. I don't know if this is stainless. It might even be titanium just to match. 
but it's nice and brushed on the bottom. It's really fancy, although most people probably aren't going to really care too much. And of course we get our standard Apple 5 watt power adapter, which is good enough for a watch. Nothing spectacular. So now that we've got this out, clear some of this trash out of the way. Let's take a look at the sports loop. Got another pull tab. It's a pain in the ass. There we go. Apple loves their pull tabs. I guess I just have a habit of opening things up backwards. It comes with instructions on how to insert. Another pull tab. Pull it out of the casing. That is very soft. A lot softer and stretchy. It's pretty awesome. So let's see, it's gonna go something like this when it hooks onto the watch. So we can go ahead and put that on there right now. So let me know in the comments if you guys think that there's a right way or a wrong way to put these together. You know, if you wanna do it with this way so the band's going in this direction or you wanna do it the other way. I'm just gonna put it on the first way that I see. So we're just gonna slide this into the little hole right there. Clips on in. Slide this one right into the hole right there. Flip it in, and it works. Oh, and I hit the power button, so I guess we're turning it on now. So here in my hands, I got the Series 3 right here, aluminum, and the Series 5 in titanium. So first, notice the difference is uh, weight. In all honesty, the titanium actually feels a little bit heavier than the Series 3. And I think that most people aren't gonna make that realization because they're gonna be upgrading from a Series 4 to a Series 5, where the Series 4 is gonna be a little bit heavier than the Series 3. Um, so the larger display that I didn't have previously on the series, series 3 is definitely a noticeable upgrade for me. Looking at the casings, uh, the back of the Series 5 has a nice gloss finish as opposed to the, gloss, uh, the uh, matte finish of the Apple Watch Series 3. It still uses the same locking mechanism for the bands, which means that all my bands previously will be interchangeable. The heart rate monitor all of these dots on the back it are a different style. It looks like there's a bunch of dashes that go around in a circle with one center dot uh, that would appear to do the same thing. Um, I don't know if that also was an upgrade made on the Series 4. Looking at the other side here, we have the microphones, which there is a noticeable upgrade. You Here you have two microphones here. I should be able to these are probably two speakers here and two microphones. On the Series 5, I would assume that this is a microphone and a speaker. Actually, no, the microphone's on the other side. So you have the microphone on this side and two speakers on that side, which makes sense for calling so you can have a little bit of louder audio than this one. Other than that, they still have the same scroll wheel and the same buttons. They're pretty similar, same-ish size overall. All right, so I've got here a Series 3 aluminum, Series 4 stainless steel, and Series 5 titanium. The first thing that I want to talk about between the three of them is this uh, first one is noticeably the lightest out of all three of them. Uh, that being said, it is the cheapest model and um, it comes with regular plain Apple glass. I don't know what it's called, but it's not their sapphire glass, which the other two models both feature. Taking a look at this Series 4, it is definitely noticeably lighter than the titanium, but that again, it's still heavier than the aluminum. So for myself, this watch still feels heavier. Comparing the Series 4 to the Series 5, on the back, they both do have the same layout as far as their heart rate monitor sensors go. Um, their scroll wheels are digital. These are both 44 millimeters as opposed to the aluminum over here that is a 42 millimeter. They have the same speaker layout on the side and microphone on the other side. As far as uh, button layouts, they're also identical. The screens, are almost identical in um, how they appear. Although functionality wise, the on the new uh, Apple Watch, it has a much lower refresh rate, which allows for an always on display, which personally, I don't know that I'm looking forward to all that much. The main reasoning being that I don't, I don't know how it's gonna work, but if all of your notifications always pop up in front of other people, I don't know how appropriate that that necessarily is, uh, depending on your location. So if you're sitting in a business meeting or something, and you all of a sudden you have your you know, friend texting you to go game online, it might not be the best uh, time for that to appear. 
but maybe that'll be a disableable feature. I'm not sure yet, so we'll wait to see our review on the Apple Watch Series 5 Titanium to come out in a few weeks. And until then, you guys should like and subscribe and uh, keep hit that bell icon for uh, future notifications on when we post our videos. Thanks a lot.